Welcome back to our F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. This is the Italian Grand Prix in season three. If you missed it, the last race was at Spa and we spent nearly the entire episode chasing down Alex Albon. If you missed that video, I will link to it down below along with a link to the AR-12 store for these. The AR-12 raid t-shirts are finally back in stock for the summer, so if you do want to check them out, they are the softest t-shirts in the world, and if you do want to check them out and support the channel, there is a link down below. Thank you so much to each and every one of you who have already picked these guys up. Anyways though, back to F1, and we've got the Italian Grand Prix at Monza. We've only got two days on the activity timeline. It doesn't really matter what we put it into. Two days sponsor event filming, sh sh sure, I guess. After that though, we come to our facilities where last time we spent some time building an aero facility upgrade. Fingers crossed that's gonna be finished for the next episode. However, we do have nearly 20 million bucks and going forward, I wanna spend a lot of resource points on battery upgrades. So I wanted to come in here and drop 12 million on quality control so our upgrades fail less often. And then we we come to our R&D department. You can see we are in a bitter war with the Mercedes guys, basically matching each other for upgrades over the season. We are not gonna stop now. We're gonna come over to our aero department and we're gonna upgrade our front downforce because our next race is Singapore. Super important to have good downforce for that one. So front wing, and our rear wing. That leaves us with a couple of resource points. And like I said, I wanted to come over to our engine and actually upgrade our battery. So let's go with this. It's a major upgrade. Hopefully it'll be finished soon. Yeah, before the Singapore Grand Prix as well. So again, we will cross fingers and hope those are ready for the next race. Final little thing before we jump on the circuit though, I want to get a new engine in or nearly a new engine in for today's Grand Prix. Monza is basically flat out the entire race, so more horsepower is going to be definitely worth it. Our standings are looking good. We are super close to Mercedes. We need to keep the pressure on, so we've got to keep doing those upgrades, keep the points rolling, and we'll advance some time. Our gearbox durability is done, and we've arrived in Italy. I'm gonna go do practice. I'll rejoin with you guys for qualifying. So welcome to Monza for a little bit of qualifying out here in Italy. This is a race that I always look forward to. However, this time might be a little bit more difficult than I'm used to. As you might have seen over the past couple of months, I've been playing a lot of Assetto Corsa Competizione and one of the most popular circuits in that game is Monza. And unfortunately, the cars in Assetto Corsa Competizione are a little bit different than your average Formula One car, so all of my braking points are different, my turn-in is different, everything about this. I've got to readjust to a Formula One car. I am really hoping though that our big brand new engine has enough horsepower in it to actually propel us into the top 10, hopefully top five and maybe even the top two. We will have to see. It's all gonna depend how much horsepower do we have. Lewis Hamilton goes P1 for now with a 117. I'm gonna come to the line in a 117 as well, half a second down from Lewis. I gotta clean up my lap a little bit and I think we might actually be able to beat him. Back to the garage for now though, let's see. Yeah, I've already dropped down to P3, we'll get some new tires ready. Yup, and it's Daniel Ricciardo who gets out qualified, at least for now, by Sir Lewis Hamilton. Okay, damn it. Unfortunately, I was trying to get a big slipstream down the straight, but there doesn't seem to be anybody out here right at the end of qualifying. So I'm gonna have the last lap Let's make it a good one. Come on, I'm in P3. Let's make it better. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Mamma mia. I nearly crashed the car in qualifying. Oh boy, and all these guys are still doing their lap. If I get out qualified, I'm gonna cry. Please tell me I'm starting P3. Okay, 
Okay, that's nice. I, I mean, I could have done better. I was pushing way too hard. That's just... That's just what happens some days though. Well, here we go. A lovely sunny day out here in Italy. Let's see if anybody has some grid penalties. It is very, very possible coming into a race like this. Sir Lewis, nope. Danny Rick, nope. So we are starting up in P3 and a little bit of a sandwich. We need to get a super good start. Kevin Magnuson absolutely flying out there. Same thing for those Red Bulls. Our Ferrari engine brothers struggling a lot. Nicholas Latifi, P13, that's insane. Giovinazzi picks up a 10 place penalty. There's your first engine penalty. Carlos Sainz down in P17, that is insane. Mick Schumacher and Williams are, they're just, they're just slow, I'm sorry. We're powered by the Ferrari engine. We gotta give the Italians what they want. It may not be a Ferrari in P1, but we can bring it home with our Ferrari engine. Anyways, race strategy for today, starting on the softs, jumping in on lap 11 for some mediums and going to the end of the race. Should be pretty standard, all right. So without further ado, lean revs, clutches in, rev it up. And away we go for the Italian Grand Prix. Danny Rick, not good off the line. I've got my car cranked all the way up. We're already getting away from Daniel Ricciardo. Lewis blocking off the inside. I run extremely deep. Don't take my front wing off into the first corner. I just pooed myself with how close he got to me. <laughs> that was terrifying. Anyways, Ricciardo is behind. I'm pretty sure this is our first time actually in front of our teammate since we swapped over to Daniel Ricardo. That is crazy. Anyways, though, we know how fast Lewis Hamilton is. I do not want this man to win this Grand Prix. I'm... Oh, boy. Uh, Danny! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Get him! Get him, you Australian honey badger! Make him slow down! Team orders! Team orders on lap one! Maybe not the most realistic thing, but I'm the team boss. I can do, uh, there's been a crash. Whoa, they're going three wide into this corner and they do crash into each other. So there might be some carbon fiber on the track with the two Ferraris there. So nobody actually crash crash. Come on though, NCP cars. Lewis goes with the fastest lap. Oh my God. Dan Danny, why didn't you change your engine, bro? You are so slow in a straight line. Okay, note to self, do not give a position up to Daniel Ricardo around this race today. He is, he's way too slow, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, between all of our shuffling back and forth between Ricardo and I, we've dropped 1.1 seconds to Lewis in front. That is not good. I do make up a little bit of time going purple through sector one, but... I, I gotta properly push, come on. Yeah, Ricardo is definitely a little bit slow. Purple through sector two. You love to see it. All right, let's catch up to Lewis. Oh, he's getting a bit slidey out here. I'm using up so much of my rich revs. That's a yellow flag. Lewis is off the racing line. Lewis, Lewis has blown up his engine and I nearly put it straight into a wall because I was distracted. Fastest lap of the Grand Prix. I think Lewis is out. Lewis Hamilton is out of the Grand Prix and there's a safety car. Oh, mamma mia, chaos out here in Italy. Hello, Mr. Daniel Ricardo. Doesn't it feel good? P1, P2 for the boys in blue, let's go. Anyways, we're way too early to think about pit stops or anything like that, so. Let's just go catch up to the safety car. I guess Lewis was running his engine super maxed out and burned it up like in the first three laps. He probably should have swapped his engine around though. I will take the P1 though. Let's catch up to the safety car. Oh, bup, 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 bup. Sorry. In the meantime though, I'm gonna be nice to my tires. I need to make sure I do not burn them up before lap 11. If I can go further than that, that would be even better. Guys, we had like three corners under the safety car. I don't, I'm not sure what the point of that was, but I guess it was pretty cool. I am in charge of getting this race back up to speed. And if I can run away from my teammate, that would be a good thing. And we're gonna go when hopefully he least expects it. And we're going, we're going just like that. 
dive bomb up the inside right there. Okay, we're off. We're... Pay no attention to me going off the circuit or anything. That was fine. And we do catch Danny Rick napping a little bit. That was really, really nice for that restart. All right, so now I just have to put some distance in. Hopefully, Daniel Ricardo doesn't decide to go for a crazy overtake or anything like that. There's fake yellow flags behind. Ignore those. Nobody's crashed. And then hopefully in a couple of laps, we'll be jumping into the pits and jumping onto our medium compound tires. Everything is good in the world. Guys, we may have a problem. This has now become Lewis Hamilton versus Rosberg 2021 edition. Oh boy. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm just saying, Daniel Ricardo, if we don't crash into each other and don't do stupid things like that, we could have run away from Bottas just nicely. Strategy change coming in on lap 13. All right. Anyways, now let's put some distance in and make sure Danny Rick doesn't catch up to us. Very good. Oh, there you go. Lap 12. Daniel Ricardo jumps in, so he's going for an undercut. This has got to be a really, really good lap out here, or he's going to overtake me. Come on. Yo, everybody is jumping into the pits. Okay, maybe there might even be a little bit of chaos in the pit lane. That might allow me to get away as well. Here we go. So into the pit lane, stomp on the brakes, don't get a penalty. Very, very nice. This will obviously recharge my battery even more. Get us some more fuel. Watch that gap to Daniel Ricardo now. I have got to have a really good stop. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. A little, little bit faster. Uh, what was that? 2.9 second stop. We got to be faster than that. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's not coming fast enough. Let's go! Let's go, boys in blue. Very, very nice. No Run a bit deep. Sorry. We were actually faster that time around. 1.6 seconds is the gap to, to Daniel Ricardo behind. Awesome. So now all I have to do is just put some good laps in. Do not blow up the car and cross fingers for no safety car. Oh, no, no, no. Nicholas Latifi is out of the Grand Prix on lap 16. I don't know what's happened to him. Hold on. I think this is Nicholas Latifi. Yup, that's a lot of smoke coming out the back. And he's parked it up pretty nicely, actually. We might not get a safety car. We'll see. Please, no safety car. Please, please, no safety car. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Very nice. All right, I gotta keep running. 10 laps to go. Oh! I didn't even know that was the... I didn't even know that was the last lap of the Grand Prix. I was going for fastest lap of the race. No way. Carlos Sainz picks up driver of the day. I'm just saying, if I didn't get the fastest lap, I am going to be so annoyed. I had no idea that was the last one. I had the car cranked all the way up. It's good to finally be back up in P1. It's also really good that Lewis gets the DNF, so we're going to catch up to him with a crazy amount of points. Meanwhile, we should be extending our lead on Mercedes as a team. Yes, lucky we do get the fastest lap by 0.3 seconds. So I definitely did need to push on that lap. It's good to see full 26 points. Meanwhile, Albon having a very good race from eight up to P4. The Ferrari's also improving. The Ferrari fans are gonna be happy because we're using that Ferrari engine. We take the P1 and Lewis Hamilton, oh no. We catch up to Lewis, we're only five points behind him. Daniel Ricardo catches up in points as well. He's like 30 points behind Carlos, that's really good and we extend our lead over Mercedes. There we go, even more good news for the team. We're getting more acclaim, the sponsors are loving it. So next episode, we can go and drop even more money into the team. So there you go, and look at what we've got coming up for the next Grand Prix. A bunch of upgrades, and we're not gonna stop there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out the shirts. Link is in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!